I literally just got all of my filming stuff and set it all up just now. It's literally like 10 p.m. Just because I remembered this story and I couldn't wait any longer and I didn't want to wait to tell because it's one of the strangest but like best things that's ever happened. So here we go. Hey guys, it's Lexi. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. So, as you guys can probably tell from the title, this is the story of how I got catfished. And again, I've said this in another video, this is just a little disclaimer. There will be some squeaking throughout the video if you can't handle that. I'm really sorry. I love you. Please stay. Like, shit. But... I am working on fixing it or trying to fix it or figuring a way out to fix it and if you guys know what I'm talking about and know how to fix it, please leave it down in the comment section below because your girl needs help. Okay, that's enough of that. So yeah, I was catfished on Tinder. So this story starts out and it was my college freshman year and I just moved onto the campus and I wanted to meet new people and I want to make friends and I want to meet some guys, hey guys, and um, yeah. So like any other person, I decided to make a Tinder or to go on Tinder and just start swiping and making matches and all of this shit and yeah. So as I was on Tinder, I got this match with this dude and I don't really remember what his name was but I kind of thought at the time that it was a catfish and it was just like suspicious and it was really weird and things weren't adding up but I was like, you know what, maybe I'm just paranoid, maybe this is a real person because the picture was cute so I was like, hey, like I've never seen him on campus before, maybe he's like lives off campus. So I started messaging this person and we were just talking back and forth and from the beginning I kind of knew that it was a catfish like things just kind of fell off and I was just learning more and they were asking me really weird questions. They were like how do you feel about the party scene and how do you feel about relationships and marriage and all this stuff and I was like dude I just matched with you like 30 seconds ago why are you trying to know my entire life story and how I feel about everything and it was just a lot. So yeah and so at this point, I was with my friends, and I was like, guys, I think this dude's a catfish, he's hot, but, like, if he's a catfish, like, that sucks, but I want to find out. I don't want to be on, like, MTV catfish for this person. And so I decided to give him my Snapchat, and I was like, hey, Snapchat me, hit me up. By the way, guys, if you need my Snapchat, it's at Lexi's one. I will link it down below, and you can add me. And if I am a professional YouTuber, I will try to figure out how to put my Snap code on the screen, like, right about now, and if you just... You know what to do, so add me on Snap. But, yeah, I gave him my Snapchat. Anyway, I gave him my Snapchat, and from the get-go, he didn't send a picture. Like, I sent a picture of myself and was Snapchatting him. And then he would respond over, like, the chat portion of Snapchat, like, not through pictures. And then I was like, hey, like, what's wrong with your pictures? Like, why isn't it working? And he was like, oh, my camera's broken. You know, like, those catfish, those things that catfish always say? Yeah, that's what he was saying. And I was like, oh, bummer, that sucks. Can you send a picture of me to yourself? And he wouldn't do it. And so I was like, okay. Now things are getting fishy. And so he started asking me, he was like, you know, you look really familiar. Where have I seen you before? And I was like, I don't know, around the campus? Because at this point, I still thought it was a person on the campus. And he was like, holy shit. And then, like, he sent me a blank, like, Snapchat screen. He was like, I know who you are. And... I don't know, I mean, I have like more than 10,000 followers on Instagram, but I don't expect people to like know me or recognize me and like that's not, that's not like a celebrity thing at all by all means. I know that I'm literally just like a child who has like some followers, but like that's kind of where I thought they were talking about because my first mind was not like, oh, from my high school because not a lot of people from my high school went to this college and in fact, I think I was the only person from my graduating class. Also, side note, my high school was really small. And normally when people are like, oh, my high school was really small and only had like um, a graduating class of like 100. No, no. My high school was so small that my graduating class was like 20 people. Okay? Like there were 130 people inside the whole school, including like faculty. Like my high school was small. Everyone knew each other. But anyway, like I was saying, this guy was like, holy shit, I know you. And I was like, okay. And he goes, I went your high school I know you from your high school I went to your high school and at this point I was like oh and I was like well are you in my grade and he was like no like I'm not in your grade and I was like well dude like at this point I was like dude like I know you didn't go to my high school like what high school do you think I went to and he said my high school name and I was like okay well now I know you're a catfish and he was like yeah he openly admitted he was like yeah I'm a catfish sorry and so I basically was going back and forth, like, saying all of these names to him because he's one year older than me and, like, I knew all of those guys. 
and it ended up that it was this kid that I went to high school with and I know him and I had classes with him and like he was friends with some of my friends and it was so bizarre and like all of this stuff and I literally guessed and he was like the one and only like I'll try to find a picture of it because it was one of the best moments of my life and I'll like blur out his name because like if you're watching this like hey what's good I'm not trying to expose you what you do when it's fine like I don't care do what you want but um yeah it was literally like the funniest moment of my life so yeah basically he was like I thought you looked familiar like I'm so sorry this was just like a thing that me and my friend set up when we were drunk and like I just wanted to see if it would work and I wanted to meet new people and they just thought it was like kind of like a joke and a funny thing to see how like girls would react to it which I totally get like that is pretty fucking funny like I'm sure that's why some catfishes do it but like I knew that it was a catfish and I was like okay some other girls might not know that it's a catfish so that's kind of like sad and that could be like pretty shitty but I think he shut it down after this I don't really know anyway so yeah I just remembered that story and I literally was like I need to film it because it was literally one of the funniest moments of my life and one of the craziest moments because I know I already have a video um and it's talking about how I was like someone was using my pictures to be a catfish to other people but this is how I legit got catfish so hi <laughs> thanks for yeah so yeah thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you want more videos or any video options or you know video requests and stuff like that so yeah thank you guys so much for watching bye guys